Hi, Mike from Brisbane Birds. Today I want to talk to you about nest box design and in particular the nest boxes I use for breeding my hunt for cords. These nest boxes are made locally in Brisbane, Australia by Phil Brewer and can be purchased at most bird sales across Queensland that he attends and some of the larger bird sales in the state. Now I picked up this one from Parrot Supplies Australia this morning for under $50. You'll be hard pressed to find a better quality nest box for that price. And a quick tip, if you're a member of the Parrot Society of Australia, you get 20% off at Parrot Supplies Australia, making this nest box even cheaper. Now typically, nest boxes are used for more than one season. So making sure that you buy a high quality nest box can save you in the long term. Most of the larger parrots and macaws and cockatoos will destroy a poorly designed nest box in one season by chewing holes in them. Now they typically sit on top or on the perch and chew the edges from the outside or chew the inspection hole from the inside whilst they're nesting. Now my hands macaws are nowhere near as destructive as the larger macaws and Amazons, but they still do enjoy trying to chew holes in nest boxes. This chewing nature is very important to many species of parrots, as in nature, around breeding time, they'll chew on the nesting hollows, changing the shape and size to their own liking. Now, the best way to do this is to protect the important parts of the nest box with hardwood or metal, and uh, add some sacrificial softwood pieces that aren't going to be part of the structure that can be chewed. Now, in fact, in the past, to encourage the breeding cycle, I've half boarded up the entrance hole to, the, uh, to encourage the birds to chew the entrance hole open. Now, for Hans McCords, I did this by covering a third to a half of the hole in fairly thin three to four mil untreated pine wood, uh, which is easy enough for them to chew through. Another benefit of this is that the birds have more things to do, helping prevent behavioral feather plucking, which can be found quite often, unfortunately, in Hans McCords. Now, a well-designed nest box like the one by Phil Brewer here, it uses different techniques to aid in the longevity of the nest box. This is a large A-frame nest box, typically the style we use for breeding Hans macaws. And this is because Hans macaws breed in upright hollows of palm trees in their native South America. It is made of 12 mil plywood, with some parts using hardwood or metal protect areas that are commonly chewed through. Often with cheaper nest boxes, they have a piece of dowel that is used as a perch at the entrance hole, and this piece of dowel, if not glued in, they can fall out and usually chewed beyond repair very quickly. Whereas with this nest box, it uses a hardwood platform, making it harder to destroy while still providing uh, a stable base for the birds to roost and into the nest box. On the side of the nest box, we have the inspection hole. Now, normally these are just a, a circular door or a hinge that you can inspect chicks from. But the problem comes when the nesting birds see the gap around the door and they take the opportunity to enlarge that gap by chewing it, which of course ruins the, nest, uh, the inspection door. And this nest box design attempts to resolve that issue by protecting the inside uh, wall of the, um, the nest box with a sheet of metal. Now the hole is cut in the metal slightly smaller than the inspection door, which means that when the um, door shuts, it hits the metal and hides a gap, making sure there's no draft coming through as well. Now as I live in Brisbane, where, we, uh, where during the summer months, we can expect to have multiple weeks where the temperature will be above 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and humid, um, it's important to make sure we, the nest box has an easily removable lid. When we're experiencing that hot run of weather, if the birds are nesting, I'll take the top completely off to aid in ventilation and reduce the overheating. Now with the nest box lid uh, in this nest box, it's made of metal to prevent the birds from chewing around, sitting on top and chewing around the nest box tops. One distinguishable feature of Phil's nest boxes are the hardwood blocks that he uses on the front of the nest box uh, around the entrance hole. So this big chunk here. This will protect the integrity of the entrance hole from being chewed, but still allow the birds to chew the softer plywood behind it. So let's take a look inside the nest box. But before we do, uh, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to my social media channels on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and hit that like button. And as always, I love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment below. Now, whenever you have a fairly tall nest box, you need to provide some means for the birds to get, uh, inside to climb out. This is because in nature, the rough internal linings of a tree hollow um, gives the birds something to grip, but our smooth plywood doesn't give the birds that ability. So these nest boxes overcome the issue by using a large metal mesh ladder internally. Now, as we have improved the overall robustness of the nest box, we now need to balance that out by providing opportunities for the birds to chew without destroying the nest box. Well, one thing I like to do to improve this nest box design is add strips of soft untreated pine to the inside walls of the nest box. 
Sacrificing these strips of wood gives the birds something to chew in the nest box and also provides another way to climb in and out of the nest box. So using some non-toxic glue, we can glue a couple of small strips of untreated pine inside to finish off this nest box. We now have a great quality nest box. We need to line the bottom with some nesting material. With my Hearts Macaws, I use a couple of inches of untreated pine shavings. Now these are readily available at fodder shops. They come in the form of a big bale um, because they're used for lining the, the flooring of uh, horse stalls. So I hope I've given you an insight into what goes into making great quality nest boxes uh, for your parrots. I hope you have a great breeding season and I hope to see you soon.